next to a pond. Mother Duck was sitting on her nest on her eggs. It was a summer's day. Slowly, one by one, her eggs all cracked open. The ducklings all said, quack, quack. But one egg did not hatch. Hmm. Grandfather Duck heard all the quacking and went to see Mother Duck. Mother Duck told him about the egg that had not hatched. Grandfather Duck thought the egg looked like a turkey's egg because it was so big. <coughs> After a few days of waiting, the big egg hatched. Mother Duck could see that the duckling was not the same as the others. It was bigger, white and ugly. Mother Duck was sure that the duckling would change and become like the others. Mother Duck and the ducklings went swimming in the pond. The ugly duckling could swim much better than the others could. Mother Duck was very happy about this. After their swim, Mother Duck took the ducklings to the farmyard to play. The farm animals saw the ugly duckling and were very mean to him. They told him he looked ugly and that he did not look like the other ducklings. The ugly duckling became very sad. Mother Duck was not happy with the other animals and told them to leave the ugly duckling alone. Mother Duck told them how well the ugly duckling swam and how she thought he would look like the other ducklings in a few days. The days went by and nobody listened to Mother Duck. The farm animals still made fun of the ugly duckling. The other ducklings were also mean to him and would not play with him. duckling felt very sad. He did not want to be at the farm anymore. One night he ran away. He went a long, long way and fell asleep in a muddy marsh. The next morning the ugly duckling woke to see some of the wild ducks looking at him. He asked them if he could stay with them. They told him that he was ugly, so he could not stay with them and had to go. The ugly duckling was very sad. Nobody was ready to be his friend because he was so ugly. It started to rain, so the ugly duckling found a place to stay dry. He took shelter under the porch of an old house. Next day, the house door opened and a big dog came outside. The dog barked at the ugly duckling and the duckling had to run away very quickly. The days went by and winter came. The ugly duckling was very cold. He lived alone near a pond and made his home in the long grass. It was a long winter. Finally, spring came with sunny days. One day on the pond, the ugly duckling saw three beautiful white swans swimming. The ugly duckling knew that they would not want him as a friend wow. because he was too ugly. saw the ugly duckling and swam over to him. They said, Hello, you swan. The ugly duckling asked them why they called him a swan when he was a duck. The swans told him that he was not a duck and to look at his reflection in the water. The ugly duckling was very happy with his reflection in the water. 
he was not an ugly duckling anymore. He was a handsome white swan. The three swans were happy to be his friends, and they all swam in the pond. very handsome white swan. He was very happy. The children on the ground clapped as the swans flew above them. The Ant and the Grasshopper One summer's day, a lazy grasshopper was chirping, singing, and enjoying the sun. The grasshopper saw an ant working very hard to gather food. The grasshopper called out to the ant, Stop your silly work and have fun with me! No, replied the ant. I am gathering food for winter. I suggest you do the same. But the grasshopper simply ignored the ant. The grasshopper spent the rest of the sunny days having fun. When winter finally began, the grasshopper couldn't find anything to eat. He searched for food everywhere, but everything was buried under the snow. He remembered the hard-working ant. He went to her house and cried, I am hungry. I cannot find anything to eat. The ant felt pity on him. The ant called the grasshopper inside and gave him food. The grasshopper ate happily and promised the ant that he would never sit idle in the days before winter. Moral of the story? Be responsible and prepare for days of necessity.